is up guys, the Premium Rat here, and welcome back to another Team of the Week player review. First of all, if you guys want cheap Ultimate Team coins, head over to UT Coin Bank. I should leave the link to the website and the Twitter down in the description. They are the cheapest automated website. You put up your players, you send the money across, and then within 10 seconds, I think it's 10 seconds average delivery time, they will buy your card. So today we're going to be reviewing the left mid... Fucking left mid EA, I hate you. Left mid version of Inform Christian Eriksen rated 83. I picked him up last night for 123,000 coins. Let's have a look at his stats. Standout stats being his 86 dribbling and his 86 passing. But he does also have 84 pace and 78 shooting. Which, you know, to be honest, for a left mid isn't that bad. That's why I decided to review him. Otherwise, I would have probably reviewed Oscar or whatever. And he's also got the handy 5-star weak foot and the 4-star skill moves. But obviously, as you can tell, in real life and on FIFA... He doesn't really suit the left mid role, so what I've been doing in game is swapping him with the uh, with the cam I've got in my squad. So as always, this is the team I am playing him in. Just you know, a sweaty BPL squad doesn't cost more than maybe like 30k. And as I said, what I've been doing in game is swapping Ericsson with Nasri because Nasri's got 81 pace, so he can play left mid absolutely fine. But obviously, if you do it beforehand, you'll lose a little bit of cam. And what I forgot to mention beforehand was as well because I've been playing him at cam. Obviously, he's the pivot of the team then. He's involved a lot more. And as you can see there, he scored 13 goals in 12 games, which is absolutely fantastic. He is the absolute... He's really, really good, honestly. Pivots around this team absolutely fantastically. Anyway, let's head over into his in-game stats. So we have Ericsson's in-game stats. He is 20. He is 5 foot 10. Weighs 156 pounds from Denmark, obviously, and prefers the positions cam and centre mid. I really just wish EA had made him a centre mid card or a cam card. It would have been absolutely fantastic. Right footed, high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, and as I mentioned earlier, 5 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. Onto his physical attributes, he has got 87 acceleration, which is great, 86 agility, 82 balance, 87 reactions, 84 sprint speed, and 88 stamina. Onto his mental attributes, the only one that stands out is his 86 vision. Obviously, being a centre mid card, his normal, his normal cards are centre mid cam card. Uh, his vision is going to be a lot higher, obviously, because of picking out those passes. Attack position 74 isn't too bad as well, and obviously, low aggression, which is decent also. And finally, moving over to his skill attributes, he has got 90 ball control, 88 crossing, 94 curve, 88 dribbling, 93 free kick accuracy, 87 long pass, 82 long shots, 89 short pass, 84 shot power, and uh, you know he's also got 78 finishing, which isn't too bad, 76 volleys, and 74 penalties. Moving on to the gameplay side of things now, and as I said earlier. You know, Ericsson is pretty... He's not wasted at left mid. If you want to play him at left mid, he'll do a job. But I'd say 85% of the uh, percent of the clips you're about to see are um, of him playing at cam. You know, he, he just influences the game a lot more. Playing him at left mid, he's just wasted. It's just a waste of 120k or whatever it was I paid for him. He's I think he's down at about 100k now. But, uh, yeah, so just swap him at cam. You know, you won't lose any chemistry and... It's not like you're trying to play a player, uh, play a player out of position at all because his normal card play is a cam anyway, and that's the position he suits. But uh, overall, you know, not too bad. As I said, play him at cam, and you know, some of the goals he scored were really, really decent. Some nice long shots in there, top binners most of the time. Got a nice little finish shot on him as well, as you can see here. Bin smashes it in top corner. But uh, also got a really nice turn of pace on him as well. It only says 84 on his card, and as I said, in, in the in-game stats, it was 87 acceleration. Once he gets motoring, honestly, he can power through quite a few players, which is not, which is very, very nice. Um, and then get him through to the uh, shooting opportunity, and then 9 times out of 10, because he's got such a nice shot on him, will hopefully finish the uh, the shot for you. Like this long shot here, does a little nice little bit of skill, and then fucking smashes it in top binners. I think that was in the 90th minute as well. But uh, yeah, overall not bad. As I said, wasted left mid. Play him at cam. He's he is worth about 100k at cam. So if you've got the coins, definitely pick him up. That is pretty much it, guys. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Go and pick up Ericsson. Subscribe if you're new around here. Please follow me on Twitter as well. The links that will be down in the description. Go and check out UT Coinbank as well. And apart from that, hope you guys did enjoy it. And I will see you guys later on. Goodbye.